soccer fans, this is Jose Bosch for FC Tucson.com. You're watching another edition of the FC Tucson Report. We're here live from Chuck Chancy Park, home of the Fresno Fuego, where the Fresno Fuego just defeated FC Tucson 3 1. But the Fuego opened the scoring in the 29th minute thanks to a Tyler Reinhardt rocket from distance to make it 1 0. Then Paul Isla scored in the 32nd minute to put FC Tucson in a 2 0 hole. However, they get one back in the 41st minute thanks to a header from Gabe Silvera. The second half played out with FC Tucson attacking, attacking, attacking. However, they just couldn't find the back of the net. And then in the 88th minute, Fresno's Greg Agnoli came over the goal to essentially put the game away. I spoke with head coach Rick Schantz and some players about the very tough loss. It's never been our problem going forward. We're going to create opportunities, but we didn't put them away. And, and we, we hit a couple. I hit a couple off the post, and um, we, we didn't. We didn't get around the keeper on a breakaway, and. You know, just a little bit of bad luck. They got a, a bit of a lucky break. On the, we gave the ball away in midfield, and the kid just hit the shot of his life. And, you know, it just kind of took the wind out of our sails and um, just never really got a rebound from it. You know, we, got, we did well to fight back and get the, get the goal to, um, before halftime. That made all the difference in the second half, but we just didn't take advantage of our opportunities in the second half. Uh, I feel like it was just kind of one of those nights. I mean, we had the chances. We, I mean, we hit the crossbar. We had... A couple of good looks and it just nothing was falling for us. Every team in the world has games like this and um, it's, it's the most frustrating thing but you know it's just got to keep keep finding new ways to put the ball in the back of the net and uh, there's no shortage of talent on this team and you know we just we have to we have to figure out how to do it. There's a few things that we need to work on and it's obviously our transition defense you know when you play like you play the way we do and we keep possession and we move forward with numbers I think um, this is, that's a byproduct when you get a team that's really quick on the counter and they've got uh, two and three good forwards. Uh, we, we're going to have to pick that up. And Ventura is a little bit like that. I don't think they're quite as good as, as Fuego, but um, they've definitely got some dangerous players. So we're, we're prepared. Despite losing to the division leading Fresno Fuego, FC Tucson can still make a run for second place and a playoff berth. That happens next weekend on June 28th against the Ventura County Fusion. They'll play the Fusion again at home on June 30th. You can get tickets for that game at www.fctucson.com. And for all information, FC Tucson, you can go to our, our Facebook page at facebook.com slash FC Tucson or our Twitter account at FC underscore Tucson. This has been another edition of the FC Tucson Report. I'm Jose Boss saying so long, Tucson.